A friend sent me this hat, a Spanish bullfighter's hat. Muchas gracias, mi amiga. So, I thought I would make a short video about bullfighting. Is it cruel? Yes, one day people will look back and say it was wrong, but I don't want to dwell on that. The kind of bullfighting that we see today goes back two or three hundred years to the 18th century, but nothing comes from nothing, and before that Spanish bullfighters fought on horseback. And that was just the latest twist in a long relationship between humans and bulls. Cave paintings from the Ice Age ten or twenty thousand years ago show the wild cattle that were hunted in those times. The bulls were an important source of food, but they were also powerful and dangerous, and people must have been in awe of them. It's not surprising that they became surrounded by religious rituals, even after cattle were domesticated and brought under human control. The worship of the bull god Apis was one of the oldest cults in ancient Egypt. The god was represented by a living bull which, after a certain number of years, was ritually killed. The Israelites, after they fled Egypt and were wandering in the desert, constructed an effigy of this god, the golden calf, and performed sacrifices in front of it. And there were bull deities in the other ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia and India, where in fact cattle remain sacred to this day. In ancient Crete, the bull cult was especially important. Paintings from the Minoan civilization around 1500 BC show acrobats bull leaping. They grabbed the bull's horns as it charged towards them and somersaulted over its back. And according to Greek legends, the Cretan king Minos sacrificed male and female virgins to the half-man, half-bull Minotaur that he kept in his labyrinth. It was eventually slaughtered by the hero Theseus. A bull cult was later carried to the far corners of the Roman Empire by the religion of Mithras, a divine being whose most important act was the killing of a sacred bull. So in some ways bullfighting is a modern phenomenon, a recent invention, but in other ways it's a surviving relic of much more ancient practices, ones going back to crueler times in human existence, when religions involved blood sacrifices, and human mastery over nature was much less assured than it is today.